Well, Coach, you had a monster game from Javon. When you just kind of get out of the way and let him shoot when he, he's, he's feeling like that? <laughs> kind of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did. You know, he's always had, had the ability, and a lot of his big games are just a result of him making special plays. You know, Texas State the other day had 20 in the first half, and that wasn't because of the plays we were calling necessarily. Although I think we are finding, you know, I think we're using him a little better now than we have really at any point in his career, getting him, getting him moving into space better. Uh, but, yeah, he was just hot, just hot doing, doing special things there. So don't want that to overshadow everything else because uh, that was one of our better games on the year, you know. And we, we came home from Oregon State and, and told our guys that we could really use this game to springboard into something special coming out of Christmas. Um, the last two days of practice were really, really good. We talked so much about defense. I mean, despite what Javon did, the talk in the locker room was – they were all, all ready for me. At halftime, I drew up. I put 33% on the board. Uh, they were shooting 33% the first 17 minutes of the game. And we had a bad stretch to finish the half. They got to 40. Second half, they were all ready for me to ride it up there. And, and uh, they hit exactly 40. That last layup put them right at 40. So they're a little disappointed that we didn't finish it off that way. That would have been a huge, for us, that would have been a huge number uh, to have them shoot in the 30s percentage-wise because we've been struggling defensively. And we gave up almost 60% the other day going against Oregon State. So I'm talking a lot right now. I'm getting kind of long-winded. But the theme has been defense the last two days. And uh, I'm glad to see our guys try to carry that over tonight. You guys had a strong effort on the boards today. Are you, are you happy with the direction, the, with the rebounding and the defense? Rebounding is, you know, it's been, you know, we hit that stretch. It was three weeks ago or whatever it was. Where backs were really against the wall and weren't feeling good about anything. Uh, we said, we got to, we got to, we got to, we got to, start working on our identity and the first thing we can do is control our effort to the boards that's been a huge point of emphasis it's gotten better and better the last three or four games uh, we continued that tonight uh, and then we added a much better defensive effort to it offensively we've continued to get better um, better shots better percentages more assists and eight assists I think in the first half so making progress the rebounding has been consistent the last four or five games uh, that was one of our better defensive games oh, what Going like that early. Uh, more important for him than for us, but yeah, it was really, really good to see. I told told him, you know, the pregame talk, you're usually not talking about your own individuals. You're talking about the other team, what they're going to do. I looked right at Atim and I said, this could be a game where you have a big impact with your energy and your rebounding. And I said, Byron, this, this is going to be a game where you're going you're gonna to snap out of it and, and do what you do. It's going to be a great game for you. And uh, he got off to a good start and you can just see his confidence. You know, he, he's at a stretch where the ball just hasn't gone in for him. He's been getting some shots blocked and uh, just hasn't been able to get his, his, his head up. And I certainly think that will help him moving forward. To see that ball go through the net more than once. Made some great plays for us. You know, he's, he's an unbe unbelievable player, and he hasn't been playing anywhere near his usual self up to this point this year. Do you think that had anything to do with that? Was there any, any lingering effects? I mean, that, that ain't wrist injury was, was early last year. Is that uh, part of it? Or? Uh, injuries in general. I mean, Byron, Byron's been the guy. Just he started, I think, every game of his career. Right. So he's he's durable on the one hand, but he's also dealt with so much with back and hip and feet, and uh, he's always in the training room. It's it's been a challenge for him. His body weight right now is great. He's in pretty good shape. Uh, you know, now he's got a little more bit of confidence. I think he'll come out of Christmas feeling good. Go here for a while without class. You know, his right. his, his schoolwork, I think. Uh, wears on him a little bit. It's hard, you know, to be, to be an engineering major is hard. To be an engineering major and a student athlete makes it harder. And so uh, hopefully he can really, really uh, just shift into high gear here and you know, have a great, great one more semester and cap off a terrific career. Coach King Wallace had a kind of a down game, but he was fairly active. Is that him more trying to get others involved? Well, he's been unbelievable defensively all year. You know, struggled er, really struggled early shooting the ball, of course. Uh, but I don't think it's a mental thing. He just just didn't. It was one of those nights for him. He's always going to play hard. He's usually one of our best defenders, if not our best defender. Uh, he's rebounding it. He's taking care of the ball. He's doing a lot of really good things for us tonight. wasn't his night to score it, but uh, he's not going to. He's not going to be worried about it. But we got the result that, that we wanted. How do you feel the team is right now? After, uh, finishing off 2019. What do you feel that? Well. We talked about that a lot the last few days. You know, we're, we're healthy. 
our, our confidence is pretty high. Um, our record's not what we would have wanted it to be, not the kind of start that we wanted. But again, we want to use this, this game to springboard as we head into you know, one more game right after Christmas, but then head into league play and, and uh, continue, can continue to make progress defensively. I think we're in a position because of our chemistry, because of our, um, our mindset right now, and, and just being healthy that, that we can still do something special uh, moving forward. Thanks, Steve.